I really started fall. I've been a runner my whole life, really, but I really didn't start following track and field until 2016 when I launched this podcast. So I didn't even know, you know, the story and like who you were when all that happened. And you were, you were really like, for those listening who, who also are like me and don't, didn't know, like you were one of the ones to make the team in the steeple. Like you were like a, you weren't an underdog. Like you were likely (laughs) to make that team. Um, And, and that planter tear really, God, it's just, it screwed you. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) it did it did screw me yeah it was it was tough do you ever wonder Um, like because you know in steeple I think the names we often hear we we hear Emma we hear Courtney and we hear Colleen like those are the steeple names that people know there are more names than that for sure but I feel like in these past like three or four years those are the names that um the casual spectator of track and field would know right yeah. Do you ever feel like I'm in that mix too? Like I was in uh, that mix. I I like likely could have made that team. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was a little bit of time there where I, um, I mean, I, like I, we talked about injuries, like I beat myself up a little bit thinking, oh man, you know, maybe if I'd been smarter about this, I would like everything would have changed and I would have been on that team. Maybe if I had listened to my body a little bit more or like taken time down with my planner, things would have worked out, but you, you can run through the what ifs endlessly in your mind. Like, what have I done this differently? Maybe I would have been, you know, and it is really easy to look at other people's success when you've had similar success, but it didn't work out the same way it did for them. Um, And think, Oh man, you know, like I deserve that, but that's, you know, realistically, I, I didn't get it. Like (laughs) it it wasn't me, you know, and, and the top three make the team and they deserve that. And I, it doesn't detract from my success and I don't need the general population or the average track fan to think of steeplechase and think of my name to be proud of what I've done and, and what I will continue to do in the sport. So you know, it, it would be, it would be nice to have more people be like, oh yeah, she's around 918 and she was like expected to make the team. But like at the same time, I don't really care because it, I, 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 that's not why I do it. That's not why I continue to run. Like I just love the feeling of racing and I'm going to continue to train and, you know, I want to make the team next year. Um, but that's, that's for me, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I really appreciate and respect the other women that run steeple like Emma, Courtney, Colleen, all the other women that are, are running to make the team. Like those are some of the coolest people I know, like seriously, like those women are so strong and so cool. And so it's, I can't look at them and be like, ah, you don't deserve it. <laughs> like they oh, definitely sure. deserve it. So yeah. Um, it's just, I don't know. I mean, my, my path has been different. So yeah. 